there's been no doubt about it, it has been a cool and wet spring. And in today's Hands on Gardening, we're going to talk about some of the problems that's presenting for area trees. Now, joining me is Steve Hunsinger from the UW Extension Office. And Steve, uh, we're st starting to see a lot of pr uh, problems with funguses uh, because of the cool and wet weather. But you say there's really not a lot to be concerned with. That's right. It, it has been very prevalent this year. The maple trees especially have been one of our worst signs, uh, as we see on the leaves here. Dark black coloration and thracnose is what our fungal disease is that's going on here as well. Sometimes it can appear just as a more light uh, brown or, or spotty kind of uh, disease as well. So, and thracnose, some leaf spot, other fungal diseases are definitely prevalent right now. And also uh, in other trees too, like ash and, and some of the other shade trees, they're seeing some of the same similar problems as well. They are, and it's not anything to be too, totally concerned about right now. It's more of an aesthetic uh, problem. It looks bad at the time. Some leaves are going to drop, but usually we're going to get those secondary or tertiary buds to come out and refoliate that tree. Is there a way to prevent it or treat it once you've got it, uh, or do you just have to wait it out? Certainly there are fungicides available if you choose to go that route. Usually on a large tree like we see here today, that's probably not very easy to do, but the other option is to rake up some of the leaf debris and get those spores out of there, because they will overwinter, and you want to break that cycle. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Some good advice there. That is today's Hands-On Gardening. So it doesn't sound like you have to go out there with a chainsaw or anything. No, this is just pretty much for looks. If you get a little bit, uh, you know, if you're concerned about it, uh, just wait a little bit. If we dry things out a little bit, get a little more warmth in here, mm -hmm. that should correct itself. And it really shouldn't have any bearing on the, the health of the tree. Yeah, it just doesn't look good right now. No, so. there's a lot of things that don't. Like, you know, tomato plants are still really it's small. True. So get yeah. a little warmth in here and we dry things out a little bit and uh, a lot of that stuff will come around. All right, thank you very much, Corey.